My name is Tina Musingai. I am a junior nursing major here at Oral Roberts University, and I'm here to discuss the negative effects of hookah use. Hookah is a water pipe that's used primarily for smoking tobacco, but people also use it to smoke marijuana. And it is a, a, an apparatus that has a mouthpiece connected to this water container. And people often put flavored tobacco in it. And as they heat it up using charcoal, or some form of heat source, it creates smoke and that's how they inhale it and that's how they smoke it. It's uh, all over YouTube. You can see college students as well as some high school students because you, you have to be 18, year old, 18 years old in order for you to get access to it. But um, you see them at hookah lounges uh, or hookah bars and they're smoking it and it's in a way like a socialization tool. A lot of people they use it to socialize. You know, they take it and they pass it from one person to another person to another person and for them that's how they are interacting with one another and so that's why it's so appealing to the youth especially as well as the young adults of our generation because that's what's in right now because back in the early 1900s smoking was in and so everybody would smoke and now hookah has been introduced here and so that's what a lot of individuals see as being cool and it's a way for them to fit in in their opinion. They make it appear like it's a positive alternative to smoking cigarettes and with these lounges and bars coming out it it sort of gives a, a sort of retro appeal, like a lot of young people are drawn to it because it has this Middle Eastern type of appeal to it. And so when you go into the lounge, you see other people smoking it. And even if you say that you're not going to smoke it, you still get that secondhand smoking um, aspect of it. And in our generation, it's something new. People are always drawn to you know, what's new out there. People have, done, have seen so many advertisements against smoking and so now this new thing is coming out and a lot of youth, a lot of young adults, even, you know, older individuals um, see it as the new thing and so they, they want to go ahead and experiment, it, experiment with it and see, you know, if they like it or not without realizing the consequences of it. From a biological standpoint, hookah wears on your lungs and it causes just a buildup of tar and other toxins in your body and that increases your likelihood of developing lung cancer and other diseases and it also causes you to slow down like exercise wise it's hard f it's harder for individuals who are using hookah just as with individuals who use cigarettes their lung capacity isn't as it isn't operating at its optimal level, and so it wears on your body, it causes your lung not to function properly, and hookah or any type of like carcinogen, uh, while others, you know, the first time that might be it for them, you know, they take it and their body reacts to it in such a negative manner that they could end up being hospitalized or even worse, be dead depending on like how close the access to the emergency room is and so hookah is a very dangerous form of smoking. Some of the long-term consequences of hookah smoking include um, the effects that it has on fertility. It can decrease an individual's fertility and if you are smoking it while you're pregnant it can lead to a low birth weight in the baby as well as um, it can also lead to the baby having lung problems, you know. And other consequences are it increases your risk for heart disease and COPD and all of these other diseases. With people who think that hookah is just water vapor or that it doesn't contain nicotine in it, I would tell them to go ahead and do your research. 
look it up for yourself because sometimes we just go based on hearsay. Oh, my friend says that this is good. You know, this is cool. This is what's in. But go ahead, look it up for yourself. Look up the pros and cons of it. And then once you've done your research, then decide whether or not you're going to go through it with it. But with that, just realize that hookah has negative consequences on your body and you only have one body and it's your duty to take care of it.